This video is on converting quadratic functions from standard form into factored form and also converting them from factored form into standard form. We want to convert between the two forms so that you can find your x-intercepts when they're in factored form and to also find your y-intercepts if they are in standard form. So to convert the following quadratic from standard form into factored form, into factored form, that means that we want to factor it. So in order to factor this, we use we see that we have three terms. We're going to use MACAB. Now, we always find our GCF. Our GCF for this function is their smallest number is 1, and there's no x on the 6. So that means our GCF is just 1. We go straight into factoring MACAB. Our a value is equal to a positive 1. Our b value is equal to a positive 7. And our c value is equal to a positive 6. I'm going to come over here and do our MACAB. MAC. Our MAC is 1 times 6, which is 6, and our AB is 7. We write out what multiplies to 6, so we have 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Then we see which ones will add to become a 7. 1 and 6 can add to a 7 if they are both positive. 2 and 3 can never add to a 7, so these will go away. We want to make sure that this max correctly, so it's a 1 times 6 is still a positive 6. And then 1 plus 6 is a positive 7. Now, since a is equal to 1, we do not use the box. We can go straight into our answer. We started with f of x. I'm going to continue using f of x equals. Since our GCF is 1, we don't have to put anything on the outside. We go straight into our parentheses, into our factored form, parentheses. We use the letter x, so we're going to use x. And then we're going to use our two values from over here. We have a positive 1, so we put plus 1. Parentheses, we'll use the letter x. And we're going to use our plus 6 for the other one. This is factored form. This is how you would then find your x-intercepts so that you could graph them. Now if we, so again, we're going to go from standard form into factored form. Into factored form means we want to factor. It tells you which form to use, so that means that you want to do that form. So if it says factor form, you want to factor to put it into that form. To factor, we look for our GCF. Our smallest number is 3, so we see if everything can be divided by 3. 23 cannot be divided by 3. Then the next one would be a 1, because it's 1 times 3 gives you the 3. The GCF so far is 1. The 14 does not have an X, so our GCF is just 1, which will not affect the problem. We go straight into our MAC app since there are three terms. Our A is equal to a 3, our B is equal to a 23, and our C is equal to a 14. So we come over here and we do our MAC app. Our MAC is 3 times 14, which is 42, and our AB is 23. We want to write all the factors of 42, so we start with 1 and 42. 2 and 21, 3 and 14, 4 does not work, 5 does not work, 6 and 7. We want to write all of them to make sure that we can we check all of them. Now we want to make sure they add to 23. 1 and 42 will never give you a 23. 2 plus 21 will. 3 and 14 will not give you 23 because if you go up, it will just give you a 17. That won't work. And 6 and 7, if you add them, will go as far up as a 13, and that won't work. So we want to focus on the 2 and 21. To get the 2 and 21, if they're both positive, they give us a positive 23. But we have to make sure they mac ab correctly. A positive 2 times a positive 21 gives us a positive 42. That's good. And 2 plus 21 gives us a positive 23. So that's also good. It mac abs correctly. Now, since a is equal to 3, we must use the box. That's using the grouping box. We're going to do a box. We're going to have four parts to it. Inside that first box, we always use the first term. Since our GCF is 1, we use our 3x squared. And the last box will always be your last term. 
the corners come from here. That's the reason we do our MACAP to get our other corners. Now, these have to these two corners have to share the same letter as the first box. So even though this is a 2, this will become a 2x and 21 will become 21x so that we can factor out their GCFs. Doing the first row, the GCF of 3x squared and 2x is a positive, that's our first sign, positive x. The next row, our sign, our first sign is positive, so this will be a positive. GCF of 21 and 14 is 7, and there's no other x on here, so it's just 7. Now we're going to do that first column going up. Our first sign is positive. GCF of 3x squared and 21x is going to be our 3x, because 21 divided by 3 works. And they both have an x, so it's 3x. The second column, the first sign is positive, so we're going to put plus. GCF between 2x and 14 is just going to be 2. Now that we have our GCFs out, we look to see if these will factor further, because this will be one of our factors. This is two terms, but this is not a difference of squares, so this will be part of our answer. This part is also two terms, but it is not a difference of squares, so that will also be part of our answer. So we go straight to our answer of f of x equals, parentheses, 3x plus 2 from the top, and then parentheses x plus 7, which came from the side. This is our answer. On these next two problems, we're going to convert the following quadratic function from factored form into standard form. Into standard form means we're not factoring, we're doing the opposite of factoring. Factoring is division, so the opposite of division would be multiplication. We are going to distribute. This is what we're going to do. Distribute. Distribute. So we're going to, I'm going to rewrite the problem, 1 fourth parentheses, x minus 6 parentheses parentheses x plus 2. We're doing the exact opposite of factoring. So the order that we did, the first thing we did in factoring was our GCF. Since we're doing the exact opposite, the GCF will be the last thing we distribute. So the 1 fourth was your GCF, that'll be the last thing you distribute. So we're actually going to get rid of the parentheses first. We're going to distribute the parentheses. So we're going to keep our 1 fourth. Don't do anything with the 1 fourth yet. Parentheses. We're going to go from two sets of parentheses down to one. We're going to take our x and multiply it to everything inside the second set. So we have x times x is x squared. Then x times 2 is a positive 2x. We've taken our x and multiplied it to everything. Now we take our negative 6 and multiply it to everything. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And then negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to simplify this so that we can distribute the 1 fourth in just a second. So we're going to have our 1 fourth times x squared. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x minus 12. Close parentheses. Now what we'll do is distribute this entire 1 fourth to everything inside the parentheses. We'll have f of x equals 1 fourth times x squared is 1 fourth x squared. Then we'll have 1 fourth times negative 4. 1 fourth times negative 4 is negative 1. We'll keep our x. Then we'll have 1 fourth times negative 12, which will become a negative 3. So our standard form is f of x equals 1 fourth x squared minus x minus 3. Again, we do our GCF last because in, we're doing the exact opposite of factoring. So the first thing in factoring is GCF, so therefore the last thing in distribution is GCF. We're going to convert this quadratic fact function from factor form into standard form again. So we're going to go into standard form. That means that we will end up with no parentheses. Again, when we want to dis um, go to standard form, we distribute. And again, our GCF will be the last thing we do.
I'm going to rewrite the problem as negative 1 half, parentheses, x minus 2, parentheses, 2x plus 1. So what we do first is we're going to distribute the parentheses. So this negative 1 half will stay for the moment because that's going to be the last thing we distribute. So we have x times 2x, which is 2x squared. Then we have x times positive 1, which is a positive 1x. We've multiplied the x to everything, so we move to the negative 2. Negative 2 times 2x is a negative 4x. And then negative 2 times 1 is a negative 2. We condense this. We simplify it so that we only have three terms inside. So we have negative 1 half parentheses. Keep the 2x squared. Then we have 1x minus 4x, which is a negative 3x. And then we keep our minus 2, close parentheses. Now that we have just one set of parentheses, we want to go from 2 to 1 to 9. That's by distributing this negative 1 half, this entire negative 1 half, to all of these three terms. So we'll end up having f of x equals negative 1 half times 2 is negative 1. We'll have our x squared still on it. Again, you don't have to put the 1 there. You can just put negative x squared. Negative 1 half times negative 3x, so negative 1 half times negative 3 is a positive 3 over 2. Because that's really a 3 over 1 right here. So 1 times 3 and then 2 times 1 on the bottom. We'll keep our x. Keep it as an improper fraction. Do not put that as a decimal. Do not write that as a decimal. Improper factors are the best ones to use because you don't want to have decimals that keep going on forever. Then we have negative 1 half times negative 2. That becomes a positive 1, so plus 1. There are no parentheses left, and it goes in standard form of x squared x, no x. So this is our final answer. You can also check to see if they have been converted correctly by graphing both of them and seeing if they share the same graph. Now, if I want to see these, if I have a color calculator, I can definitely see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph both of these. And I'm going to see it on a color calculator to see the different colors. I'm going to have my first one in blue. And my second one will be in red. So I'll just focus on number six real quick. The original is, I'm going to go alpha y equals to put it into a fraction. So I have negative one over two. Then I have parentheses, x minus 2, parentheses, parentheses, 2x plus 1, parentheses. Now I'm going to make sure I'm in zoom 6 so I can see this graph. Here is my blue graph. That's my original. Now I'm not going to clear that out. I'm going to go back to my y equals. I'm going to go to my second one. Now, my, I'm going to put in my standard form equation now. So this is negative 1x squared plus, now since I have a newer calculator, I can go to alpha y equals and type in, just do that fraction. I can do 3 over 2, and then I put my x on the side, and I can put plus 1. Now, my first one was in blue, so now this one will be in red. If it, if it is the exact same graph, it'll just cover the blue. So my blue's still there, and then my red is coming over it. It's the exact same graph, so that means that these are converted correctly. If I had messed up on a sign, if I had accidentally forgotten to change that sign to a positive one, and I'll change this to a minus one just to show you, so my original is in the blue. And here comes the red. And as you can see, they're not the same graph, so that means that it is not converted correctly. And that's because what I did was I changed the plus one right here that we're supposed to have. I changed it to a minus one to show you the difference between them. So if you accidentally do the wrong sign, it will not graph correctly. And for those of you who don't have the alpha y equals, you can actually type this in as 
I delete this, I can actually put parentheses negative 1 divided by 2 close parentheses because I put fractions inside of parentheses. Okay? And it will still graph the same way. It will still graph. Just want to make sure my blue still graphs the same way. That's still my blue. That was the original graph. And then again, the red one is still slightly wrong because I kept it as that minus one at the end instead of the plus one. So the blue one is still the original. It's using the negative one half as a division, as just a division symbol instead of the alpha y equals. That one, the alpha y equals puts it into looking like an actual fraction. But notice I put the x on the outside of the fraction for that three halves because if you put it under the bottom in the denominator, it completely changes the problem. So these are converted correctly, and this is how you convert into factored form, you factor it. To convert into standard form, you distribute. Make sure that the standard form has no parentheses left over. There are no parentheses. That's how you can tell that they are correct, and you can also graph the original and the new one, see if they are the same graph.